to the Stadium of Light now and two clubs with contrasting fortunes head-to-head. -head. Sunderland were seeking their fifth home league success in a row against a West Ham side who'd not managed a win at all since the opening day of the season. Danger man Darren Bent returned to Sunderland's starting lineup after being rested in the League Cup. Anton Ferdinand only made the bench against his former club, with Nyron Nosworthy getting the nod. West Ham made one change to the side that drew with Arsenal. Radoslav Kovac in for the suspended Scott Parker. Up front, Guillermo Franco partnered the informed Carlton Cole, whose fine season personally has yet to pay dividends for the team as a whole. Your commentary team, Dean Sturridge and Gary Taphouse. Collison. Purposeful run. Franco and Berami. Good save by Gordon. Still on here. Hacked away by Richardson. Good awareness initially from Collison, then from Franco to lay off Barami. It's a really good strike and a decent save from Craig Gordon just to parry it out of the danger area. Berami. Oh, good run by Collison. He's onside. Franco waiting. Big opportunity. Franco! West Ham in front. His first goal for the club, Guille Franco, the 32-year-old Mexican, could hardly miss. Brilliant play by Collison to break the back line, puts it on a plate, and Guille Franco says thank you very much. Elunga, Kovac. Noble to Collison. Carlton Cole calling for it, that's not a bad ball. Good first touch, he smashed it at Gordon. Great centre-forward play again by Colton Cole. Really good play by Collison. Diagonal ball, picks out his mate, Colton Cole. Decent shot, but a nice height for Craig Gordon, but a really good save. Noble, what a lovely touch. Collison, Cole ahead of him. Can he get the pass right? It's Colton Cole! It's 2-0 to West Ham! Oh, Colton Cole's wonderful goal-scoring run continues. Five in six Premier League games. What a finish. Wow, wow, wow. What brilliant play. Two or six for Jack Collison. Exceptional play from the young man. And a brilliant finish. Now Bronk. That comes Kovac. Free kick right on the edge of the penalty area here. It's a combination of Kovac and Ilunga, and the yellow card is shown to Radislav Kovac. Reed! Oh, magnificent! What a response from Sunderland! Rob Green never moves! Robert Green rooted to the spot, all because of the quality from Andy Reed. say the referee is going to have to take action here well Kenwin Jones raises his arms pushes the player down red card for Kenwin Jones now Collison who made both West Ham goals stolen by Mal Bronk and that's looking for Darren Bent first time effort good save by Green good attempt by Bent and a great save from Robert Green when it's aiming towards that far corner. Reed with Sunderland's fourth corner. Turner's head out. Oh, what a save that is by Green. Turner thought he'd equalised. Terrific save from Robert Green. It's towards Turner again, and Sanders head out of the bar. Oh, and then Green with a save. And amazingly, Sunderland haven't equalised. You can't believe what you're seeing here. Wow. Cannot believe they've kept it out. Reed looking for Bent. Upson as a defender. Richardson in the middle. There he is! 2 2! A phenomenal comeback from Sunderland with 10 men. I think that Robert Green gives this one up. The deflection off the cross from Darren Bent. Watch Robert Green's reaction. Gives it up. Kieran Richardson doesn't. He gambles, shows good pace again to the six-yard box and gets his goal and gets the equaliser. Everything what this Sunderland second-half performance deserves. 
Nosworthy away. Bent. Kovac was there as well. well. The referee went for his pocket, didn't he? And uh, he's one of the players who has been booked. Yellow card, a red card, ten aside, 2-2, two, two, four minutes left. Reed. Space to move into, so he uses it. And here's McCartney. Pass bent all the way through to Henderson. Bent's there and just couldn't jump high enough. Oh, I can't believe, and Steve Bruce can't believe it. I think this may have just been a touch too high in defence of Darren Bent.